Hey guys, it's Fate Tegan Morgan 11 back with another video. I have a lot of recent pickups to show you guys today. Some of them are gaming related and others are just kind of cool stuff that I thought you guys would be interested in. So I'm going to get started with the stuff that's not gaming related first and get that out of the way and then we'll get to the gaming related stuff. So first, out of the claw machine, I won this Angry Bird. I forgot what his name is, but he is my favorite in the movie. He's the one that gets like... Besides the red one, he's the one that gets like really angry and blows up. He's like the bomb. So that's like the one scene in the movie that I really remember is when he blows up when he gets like really mad. So I got him out of a claw machine. I got him basically for a dollar. He was on the edge. Just dropped my drink. He was on the edge and uh, basically just put the claw down on his feet and then it came back up and it's somehow, I don't, like the top part of the claw, not the claws that actually grab it, but the top part where it goes back up, got caught on his tail and like dragged him over. I didn't think he was going to come out, but he did, so I was happy about that. And then also from Claw Machine, before they changed it to a dollar a play, that one was a dollar a play. This one was still 50 cents a play. I got him for a dollar basically after like two plays. It's Rocco from Rocco's Modern Life. I loved this show as a kid. Now, this is going to tell you how stupid I was as a kid. First off, this is a part of series that Nick is doing for Nick 90s plush that they have in the NEN machines, and he's the only one I got so far. But basically, when I was a kid, God, he has already covered it in my dog hair, and he's not even been near my dogs. Anyway, <laughs> he, uh,. When I was a kid, I literally liked Rocco's Modern Life because for some reason, even though I'm sure they've mentioned it multiple times in Rocco's Modern Life, I thought this was a dog and not a wallaby. This is a wallaby, not a dog. <laughs> but I thought it was a dog and that's the whole reason why I like the show. But I still, actually, I even like it more today than I did back when I was a kid. So I was happy to get him. He really, really liked. And at a yard sale to add to my Lion King collection, I got... Disney Presents The Lion King. This is basically based off of the Broadway play. And it just has like different things in here. Like the, be like the beginning tells you basically about the play. And then you just got like different like scenes and stuff in here. Any like Lion King person or collector would like to add something like this to their collection. I mean, maybe not everybody, but me personally, I've never seen The Lion King as a Broadway play, and I really want to. So looking at this kind of, like, gives me a little hope that I can still see it someday. Um, yeah, so a little side note. I was in course in high school, and we went on a trip to New York City, and this was originally in the plan to see in New York City. And we got there, and, and this is going to make no sense. If you know what the Broadway Gypsy is... Our course director changed The Lion King to Gypsy. If you know what Gypsy is, high school students really... Okay, in my opinion, Lion King's more appropriate. We'll just say that. I'm not... Gypsy was really good. I really like Gypsy, but I really wanted to see a Lion King. And they gave us the option to see a third Broadway play because we saw Gypsy on 42nd Street. 42nd Street was already on the list. They took Lion King off and we did Gypsy instead. And I was so, so mad. Um, still haven't seen Lion King. Been back to New York, like, once or twice, and I still haven't seen Lion King. Anyway, I, uh, we had the option to see this if we wanted to buy tickets ourselves and do it as one of our, like, free time things. And my group, who I couldn't stand, didn't want to do this. They wanted to go shopping instead. So, I was mad. Anyway, that's a side note. <laughs> uh, then I got, I have a, just... So you guys know, I have a massive problem in these videos of either going uh or saying so a lot. So one of the, see what I mean? One of these days I need to like go through and count how many times I said the word so. Not telling you guys to do it, but just saying that I do that a lot. I got a bunch of, well not a bunch, I got a few DVDs randomly. This was at a yard sale. I believe I got this for $2. It's Escape to Witch Mountain 2 Movie Collection. It's got... Escape to Witch Mountain and Return from Witch Mountain. It's sealed. I will be opening it. I have not seen this in a very, very long time. And I watched this a lot as a kid. So I want to watch it again. I don't want it to get on video before I open the seal. So now I'm going to be watching that. 
I also got another copy of Frozen because it was a dollar and I'm not going to pass a Blu-ray up for a dollar. Plus the Frozen I had that was a dollar on Blu-ray did not have the insert. It was just a Blu-ray and this comes with the Blu-ray and the DVD. So I'm going to get rid of the one that's disc only and keep this one. This one's the collector's edition. I don't know if that's any different or not, but I love Frozen, so I picked it up. Another one that I love that I found was Big Hero 6. This is another one of my favorite, like, kid-type movies. This one, in my opinion, is really funny. It's also got a really good lesson to it, like a lot of kid movies do, but I just really like this one. I really like Baymax. He's, like, one of my favorite characters. And this, I believe, was a dollar at a yard sale. Then at another yard sale for a dollar, this case is seen a lot better days. It's like, I think a dog got a hold of this at one point, but it's Rio, and I love Rio, and I don't have it, and the, I need to replace the case. As you can see, it's like trash. It's even more on the inside. <laughs> but I got that, and then I got Muppets from Space and the Muppets Take Manhattan. I found this at Goodwill for like two bucks, and I haven't seen either one of these. I like the Muppets. They're both in there. So I figured I'd pick that up and try it out. I've seen a lot of like the Muppets movies, but I've never seen those two. So if you guys have seen those, let me know if they're any good or not. I'm specifically interested in the Manhattan one because I'm obsessed with New York, if you can't tell. So let me know if that one's any good particularly. Next is two more things that kind of, they're not gaming related, but they came from GameStop. Because, well, I mean, I guess they could be gaming related, but they're not really... These never really caught on, but I've always liked them and I never picked any up and now they're basically on clearance everywhere. These were on clearance and I got each one for $5. The first one is a Pixel Pal of Superman and these light up. I will like take a clip so you guys can see what these look like when they light up and there's all kinds of different ones. It, can, it kind of shows you on the side there what it looks like when it lights up but you can't really tell very well. But we got Superman and we got Wonder Woman. Both of them are two of my some of my favorite characters so I wanted these so I can put them in the back just kind of have them like lit up during videos or just put them somewhere else in my game room just to add more light I might put them over where my game systems are because I don't really have any things that light up over there but anyway I got those two we're happy to finally get them I don't know why these like never caught on I, I like everything that's like pixelated because it reminds me of like my childhood for some reason so maybe it's because I'm a 90s kid I don't know but yeah, I got those, and then on to the game stuff. So first, I got these two toys from McDonald's. I did not even know they were doing this, but they're Super Mario toys. And this is number three and four. They're the only two I have. I want to get the rest of them. One of them is Yoshi. I don't know if you can see him very well, but he's on like a... I don't know if that's supposed to be a cloud or what that's supposed to be, but he's on something. I'll put a picture of all the ones that you supposedly could have gotten and the blocks that reminds me of Tetris. It you probably can't see either. Again, I will, I'll give you guys clips in the corner so you guys can see what these actually look like. I haven't taken these out yet. I want to get the other ones first before I put them on my shelf. And then I got these two Kirby's. There are eight of these to collect. And I went to Target specifically to find these. Now these are kind of expensive. I figured this out from a Tariba Facebook page and they were saying that they were selling these at Target. These are, I believe they're six dollars. They were either six or seven dollars each. They're really small, but they're squishies of Kirby. And I got this one and this one, which is probably my second favorite on the back. My favorite they didn't have, but they're pretty squishy and I like squishy stuff. And I figured they're nice to add in my collection. I love Kirby. Here is all the ones that you can get. I found these, I thought they'd be in the gaming section of Target, but they weren't. They were in the toy section of Target. So I want to go back and get some more of these. I want the sleeping one with the hat. Really bad, but they didn't have that one. The rest of them kind of look really similar, except for that one and, and this one. So I might not get all of them because they're so expensive, but I got those. And then... I got, let's see, let's go with this. I have two of these already up here. I have Qbert, and this one is Frogger. Probably can't see it very well, but Qbert and Frogger. I also picked up Asteroids because 
this was at Walmart and it was the last one and for some reason this one was on sale for $11 and the rest of them weren't on sale. So I'm like I'm just going to pick it up and get it to add to my collection. I don't know how well you can see that but that's what they look like. They have nice screens to them. So I got that. So, 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 so. That's what I say all the time. So next I got a controller. I got this off of GameStop online. I needed another Super Nintendo controller, at least I thought I did because I couldn't find my other ones and I thought I just like left them somewhere or somebody broke them or something and didn't tell me and I couldn't like find them anywhere so I got another one of these. I believe I paid like six or seven dollars for this after my discount but it's in really good shape. I took it out of the package and checked it. It is in really good shape so I was happy about that when that came in but I got a Super Nintendo controller. I guess you can never have enough of those. Next, uh, let's see, let's go with, I'm going to do the game systems last, let's go with games. I found these two at Goodwill. I believe I paid two bucks for each one of these. And the first one is Mystery Case Files Million Hair, You Be the Detective. I'm really weird, like I like games like this. It's probably really bad, but I still enjoy playing them. It is complete. I don't really, DS games, I really don't mind just getting cartridge only because I end up taking them out anyway and storing my cases in a different location than on my shelves because I, they basically just take up too much room on my shelf. So I put them in a case and I take the carts out and put them in another case to protect the carts. Then I got Luxar, Pharaoh's Challenge, don't know if I'm saying that right or not, but it's basically a puzzle game. And I've heard this is a good puzzle game. I've never tried it before, like any of them. And I think it's from the same person because both of these are in really good condition. So I was happy to pick that up. That was like $2 as well. Then I got these. These I don't think I ever showed you guys, which is why they're in here now. I originally was doing a video of a pickup that I got from a Craigslist deal that was a PlayStation. It came with a bunch of games. And I sold um, Legend of Gaia because it wasn't in the best of shape. And a few others I sold. I can't remember what they were. But I did that video and I, for the life of me, could not find what I did with it. But these are the ones that I kept from that lot or I still have from that lot. And the first one is Grand Theft Auto. I did sell the system. And I cannot remember what games I sold with it. But I got all of them for like 40 bucks total. And Legend of Gaia and another one in here is basically worth that itself. This does not have the the backing to it, but it does have the game. Then I got Siphon Filter, which I have like I have like six copies of this game now. And every time I try to like get rid of it, like nobody wants it. And it's a good game, but everybody has it. It's so common. If anybody needs this for trade or wants this, let me know because I have so many copies. I have Greatest Hits. I have Black Label. I've got Disc Only. I've got basically every form that you can have of that game. And then I have Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver, which is one that I was happy was in there. NHL Face Off 2000. Wow, really exciting. However, I don't think I have an NHL game in my PlayStation 1 collection. I might, but I don't think I do. So in that case, that's nice. And then last but not least is Dragon Warrior 7. I was really, really happy this was in there. It's in really good condition. The case isn't, but the disc are. Uh, let's see. There's the first disc and the manual. And then there's the other disc. Happy to get that. And I did, like I said, it came with Legend of Gaia as well. And I sold that because it wasn't in the best of shape. It did work. It just wasn't in the best of shape at all. So I got those. And then I got this random PS Vita game because I saw it and I thought it looked interesting. I don't know if it's any good or not, but apparently, I think this is the one I got for free. I think I, it was one of those days where you just like buy two to get one free or had a coupon or something. And this is Ex Exist Archive, The Other Side of the Sky for PS Vita. If anybody's played this, let me know if it's any good. It, I don't know if it's supposed to have anything with it or not, but there's the cart right there, a little tiny thing. Next, we have this stack right here. Now, this one has a story to it, so I'll go to that last. First, I got Sonic Mania Plus. This is the Nintendo Switch 
version. I was really happy that this came out on physical release because I had a feeling when they first released this as a game on digital that eventually it would come out on physical release so I never bought it on digital hoping that would happen and when it did I was so happy. This came with, uh, it says it comes with two new characters and an all new encore mode on the back there. The sticker on the front said it includes an art book, Sega Genesis, and a Sega Genesis reversible cover. That was actually on the plastic when I got it. I took it off the plastic and stuck it on the case just to kind of keep it. Now, the way they've packaged this thing is not the best in the world because, just, like, this little thing in the middle just, like, comes out. It's like a little piece of cardboard. But here is the game. Looks like this. And then if you want to see what the other insert looks like, I believe I got... I don't know why I cut the receipt in here. Did I get this for... Somehow I got this for 15 bucks. Oh, I had a $15 off coupon, I'm guessing. Yeah, don't know how, but I had a $15 off coupon, so I got this for $15. It has a little thing in here for a Sonic shop. It's just got Sonic gear on it. And then here, I don't know if you can see it very well, but there is the reversible cover. I might change it over to that however it's going to be in the in the sleeve anyway so it doesn't really matter so the game's not in there because it's in my switch but i've been playing it a lot i love it it's it is my favorite sonic game that has come out probably since like the genesis existed however there was a couple of games that i think like were good and people didn't give a lot of respect to but this one by far is better than pretty much any of the recent Sonics that's ever come out. Here is the little book. It says The Art of Sonic. It just says Sega on the back of it. And it just has, like, I'll show you a couple pages. It just has different, like, artwork in here. I try not to bend it too much, but it just has different artwork in there of different things. Like, here were all the logos that they were thinking about using before they decided on the one that they used. So I really like that book. The book's cool. I just wish this case was... Like, they could have put this little cardboard thing in there and, like, secured it. Which would have made it a little bit more sturdy, but they didn't. I don't know why. But I got that. Next. I already had this game. I bought this game a little while back at a yard sale. I mentioned it in a recent pickup that the disc did not work. I found the disc on GameStop's website. I believe it was, like, six or seven bucks with my discount when I got it. So I picked it up, and now... So now I have Shenmue 2 complete. The disc is actually in really good condition. And, you know, the funny part is most of the time when you get retro games on GameStop, they don't ever give you, like, the artwork and stuff with it. I mean, you do sometimes. I have gotten some games like that. But I was thinking I was probably going to get disc only, which I was fine with because that's all I needed was a disc only to complete this. Well, I already sold, sold the other case, but it came with the case. It did not, however, come with Shenmue the movie, which I already had in this one. So I was kind of, it had the manual too, I believe it did. It might not have. I think it just had the case. I can't remember. But it at least had the case. And I was like, are you serious? Like, when I don't need the case, it's when it comes with the case. That's my luck. But yeah, I got that. Because I really wanted to complete that. So I just went ahead and went for it. I have a bunch of GameStop credit and I don't know what to do with it. This next one I picked up at Goodwill. I believe it was two or three dollars and basically the only reason why I picked this up is because it was sealed. That is for Xbox 360 Connect, which is Connect Joyride. This might not ever get opened. I don't know. I might try it out. But I saw it there. I'm like, why not? Don't have it. Might as well add it to the collection. I also found Bully Scholarship Edition. I believe it was, this was at a yard sale. This was two bucks. I have Bully but I have it for PS2, and when I looked at gameplay of this on YouTube to see which one was the better one, I think this one is. Um, some people think the PS2 one is, but my preference is this one, so I'm going to probably get rid of my PS2 version and keep this one. Plus, this one's in really nice shape as well, which is nice. Also at a yard sale, I believe it was $2 as well. I got Fairy Tale Fights, which I heard is like god awful, but I've always wanted to try it, so now I get a chance to try it out. And it's also complete. And then this one was, 
I think it was at GameStop, not GameStop, I don't know why I said GameStop, Goodwill, and the only reason why I got this at the time is because I think I was really desperate because I don't know why else I would have picked this up disc only, but it's Max Payne 2, The Fall of Max Payne, which I have the first Max Payne, but I don't have the second, but I normally would not have picked this up just because it doesn't have the insert, and I don't like dealing with games that don't have the insert when I have the other version of the game, like I have the first one that has the insert, but for some reason I was desperate and I probably got it for like two bucks or something, so not that big of a deal. Now this last game is Dirt Rally, which I've heard is really good. This is the Legend Edition. This came from GameStop Online. I can't remember if I got this used or new. I think I got this, yeah, this is pre-owned. I got it used. If, if anybody knows, because I don't know this, is there a Legend Edition and is there a regular edition or is all of the Dirt Rallies Legend Edition? Because I'm wondering. But I got this because I traded Dirt 3 into GameStop, or I supposedly did. They actually took it and didn't give me credit for it. Uh, it had been like, trying to cause a hassle with me over it when I said that they basically took my game, which they did, and they, like, it was only worth like maybe four or five dollars trading credit, and <laughs> it was for a PS3 disc only, so it obviously got like slipped in somewhere or something, and they just didn't see it. But I called them to bring it up after I realized they didn't put it on the receipt, which it wasn't really a big deal. I was just calling to see if they still had it so maybe I can, you know, pick it up. You know, I figured, you know, they might have noticed it and went, oh, hey, we didn't give them credit for this. Let's throw it in somewhere in case they come back. No, they took it. But anyway, <laughs> they called back and they literally said they went through video camera footage to find that they did do that. Which is pathetic, but it was a $4 game. I was not going all the way back over there for them to give me $4 credit on a game. And the only reason why I was going to pick it back up is if I happened to be in the area, but that's basically what they wanted to do, so I just basically said, screw it. Um, <laughs> but I got this because I heard this is the, be is the best Dirt game, and I enjoyed Dirt 3. Injured? Injured's a word now. I enjoyed Okay. I enjoyed Dirt 3, so I picked this one up to try that one out. And then I got this 3DS that was at a yard sale. This was 20 bucks, and this, you probably can't see it, but it's like a Mario case. I have one of these actually, but it's like the red version. And it came with the regular 3DS, which is, needs help. Like, it's, it's scratched badly on the outside. This is actually the same version I have, and but on the inside it's in really good condition, minus it needing to be wiped down a little bit. Now, however, the charging port is loose, so unless you have it like sitting a certain way, it won't charge. It does work and it does charge, but I don't know how to fix that. So if anybody knows how to fix that, can let me know. I've tried to like do the manipulating the thing on the inside that it tells you to do, and that didn't help it. But I'm probably just gonna get. I mean, obviously I'm gonna get rid of this, but I would like to fix that first if I can. So I got that. It does work however fine. The screen's fine and everything. It does charge just to paint the butt sometimes. Come with a little cleaning cloth thing. And it also came with some games and I'm not sure if I stuck them back in here or not. Okay, apparently I did. It came with SpongeBob SquarePants, Nicktoons, Gloobs of Gloobs, Globs of Doom, Gloobs. <laughs> Let's create a new word. It's called a gloobs. Globs of doom. You can't see that very well at all. But there's that. And there is this one, which surprisingly is worth decent, like, pretty decent trade-in credit. Nintendo Dogs. Nintendo, I always say Nintendo Dogs when it's Nintendo Dogs. Chihuahua and Friends. The Dalmatian one's worth money, too. And this one's actually worth money, more money than the Dalmatian one, which is weird to me. But I might take advantage of that. Then it also came with Spongebob Squiggle Pants 3D. And there's the game on the inside. It's complete. I don't know if I'm going to keep these Spongebob games or not. I'm definitely not keeping this one. John Deere Harvest in the Heartland. It's not worth it. It's worth like maybe 10 bucks or something like that. But this is just not me. Granted, I live in this country, literally, like, I, like, everywhere you look, there's a freaking tractor everywhere, but I'm just not into that type of thing at all, 
it is complete. It's in really good condition. If anybody's interested in it, let me know because I'd rather trade with one of you guys online than sell it online. You know what I mean, YouTube. I can't talk today. Anyway, the best one it came with was New Super Mario Brothers for DS. I don't have this case, so I'm going to keep the case in the manual, but I'm going to get rid of the game. It has decent trading credits, so I'm just going to trade it in unless you guys are interested in it and we can trade for something. Anything I mentioned that I'm going to trade to GameStop or you know anywhere else, if you guys are interested, I'd rather trade with you guys first and do that, so let me know if you're interested in those things. And I think that's it for that one. But I got all that for 20 bucks. I thought it was a good deal. The only thing it didn't come with was a charger, but I already had a charger, so I was able to test it and it worked fine. I picked up these games at Goodwill for $2.99 each, and they are Game Gear Game Gear games that came in the little Game Gear cases, but I'm gonna like open them so you guys can see it better. The first one is Slider. This, I had no idea what this was, but I saw it and I knew I didn't have it in my collection. This is a really, really fun game. It's it's a puzzle game and you basically got to like make all of the little tiles a certain color to beat it. It's really fun. I really enjoy playing that. Then, I already had this one, but I wasn't going to, like, that was the only one that was going to be left there it is Chuck Rock. If anybody's interested in this, let me know. I have tested all of these. They all work. Everything that I say for trade, I have tested. And this one, which I thought I had, but I actually had super columns, which I knew I had, but I thought I had regular columns too. And I didn't, so in the long run, I was happy that I got columns. Columns is one of my favorite puzzle games ever since I started playing it. I always have loved Columns, so happy to find that. Like I mentioned, Please don't do a so count below. Somebody's going to do that to me, aren't you? I bet you one of you are going to do that to me. Next, I got these for $15 on eBay. And it was four Game Gear games. Maybe it was three. I think it was... Why do I fit? No, this was with that. that okay. Yeah, it was four Game Gear games for $15. And almost Star Wars. And I heard this has like a like it's just like a really fun version of star wars so i got that then i got the incredible hulk for game gear which i also have for the genesis and this game apparently has a like really funny ending slash famous not really famous but it's like a popular known ending to a game and it's also got really good music to it so i got that also got mlb pa baseball basically because it came with the other three and don't have it so I just decided to keep it and Sonic Chaos which I thought I had because for some reason I have the manual for it but I didn't have the game I don't know how that happened maybe I had this at one point and lost it I don't know but I have it back now so I got that and then I also got another Game Gear system and I think I paid 60 for this if I remember right and the reason why I did that is because my other one was, the screen got so bad. Like, not, like, it was still working fine, but it was, it got, like, it was so scratched up that you could barely see, like, what you were doing when you were playing it. Now, it wasn't, like, that bad. Like, I've seen worse screens, but I'm really picky with that kind of thing. So I found this one, and I'm going to sell my other one. If anybody's interested in Game Gear, if you want pictures of it, of how it looks and stuff, just let me know, because I am going to be trading or selling that as well. I might be putting that up actually on eBay, I'm not sure yet, but here is the new Game Gear. Now this one is different because it's basically, it's not refurbished, I guess you can call it refurbished, but the person that did it put an LED screen in it and it looks way better. And actually, I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like it's saving on battery life too when I'm playing the games. It also came with The Simpsons Bart vs. The World. Which I love, like, most of the Simpsons games, so I was happy to get that. And Mortal Kombat 2, which you can't go wrong with. And I'll put one in here. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell that much of a difference, but we'll put Bart versus the World in here, and hopefully you guys can see the screen. I'll try to make it. It's also, they also put a better, like, speaker in here as well, so it's got better sound, too. You probably are not going to be able to tell very well, but my camera doesn't do it justice, believe me. 
it sounds way better and it looks way better than my other one did so we got that and that is my last pickup minus I don't think you guys can see in this video you can't watch my Tariba videos because I do have a couple things in my Tariba videos actually I think it's more than a couple things that are gaming related one of them was this Pikachu book bag which I have not shown yet because I haven't uploaded the video for this yet I don't think I might have actually by the time I put this video up but I really like this book bag so if you're interested in what this looks like more watch that Tariba video and yeah so thank you guys for watching I believe that's it I feel like I'm leaving something out but I don't see anything so I think we're good thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys are interested in anything that I've listed in this video that is up for trade let me know below. If you don't have anything to trade, I'd be willing to sell it to you as well. We would have to do it through PayPal though because it's just safer to do it that way. So let me know about that. And then also contact me either in the comment section below or you can send me a message through YouTube. I, I don't have a Twitter or an Instagram really set up for this channel. I will do that when I get more subscribers. But for right now, I just do everything through YouTube because it's easier. So again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure that you are kind to everybody that's around you and also compassionate. And I hope that everybody has a great day out there. Blah, blah, blah. I do not say blah, blah, blah. And then I got locks, uh, blah, blah, blah. I will go that one list. Blah, 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 will go that one last. Is there like a legend edition? And then blah, 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 blah. blah. Then I have, it also came with Spongebob Squaw, blah, blah, blah. Then I got the Incredible Hulk, which apparently has like an infinite, blah, blah, blah.